it was about a year ago that I was looking through video ideas for, for new types of people to cover on the channel, and one name that kept getting brought up over and over was Cyrax. You gotta cover this guy Cyrax. You gotta cover Chance Wilkins from Akron. And I'd be like, who, the, who is this? So when I looked him up, the first thing I saw was his face, and I was immediately just like, no, no, not a shot in hell. There's no, there is not a chance we're covering whatever that is. And a few months later, that changed, and now, now he's, he's my favorite form of entertainment. I can't get enough of the little guy. Like, when I go to the casino, right, when I hop on the roulette wheel, I pick different numbers for different reasons. I pick 8 because it's my favorite number. I pick 13 because that's the age I started smoking at. I pick 18 because of that story about Peyton Manning picking 18 on the Pat McAfee show, and also because that's when I got my first car. I pick the current age I am. Just weird little things I do to pick my numbers, sometimes I just pick which ones are closer on the board, but nonetheless, little Cyrax actually got a little bit of influence in there. And because of Cyrax, I now play 14. And let me tell you something, the next time you guys, or if you ever, if you ever end up going to a friggin' casino, you play Cyrax 14. It is a wonderful number. I'm just gonna say that. That shit was hitting more times than Cyrax hit Sally. So, this has nothing to do with the video, I just wanted to throw this in there. <laughs> this has nothing to do with what we're about to talk about. What we're about to talk about is Cyrax having his final freak out of 2022. It's been a long, long, prosperous year for the Goblin, and it sadly has to come to an end, but hey, it went out in the best way it possibly could, with one final rage-induced moment from Cyrax. And it all started when he joined his friend, or supposed friend, Michael J. Hacking Stream. And they were talking, they were having a good little chat about Cyrax opening up a merch store and selling out all 250 products he currently had in there. Now, he has no proof of this, he never promoted this, but his, his logic is that, well, people always find my YouTubes every time I make a new one, that's how they found my new, uh, my new page, and I made a killing, I sold all my merchandise, and while they're having this conversation, uh, Michael Hacking, he starts to get a little bit of a disturbance on his end, uh, his, his Wi-Fi won't work, he can't hear Cyrax, and next thing you know, one of Cyrax's greatest adversaries, William Gloryhole, joins the chat, claiming that he hacked Michael's shit, and now, oh, you know it's about to go down now. Now, let me tell you something right here. Uh, the end of this video is going to be really where you see the rage just come out of the goblin. Uh, it's not the best rage we've seen, but it's, for, for a couple seconds there, I mean, he gets, he gets heated, as heated as you've ever seen him. And uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy this. It's, uh, it's a wacky one. It's always a wacky one in Cyrax's strange world. But I hope you all enjoy it. And with all that being said, let's jump into it. These little haters, they're like that little, you know, that little ugly dog that you don't want Dude. to show love to you, but you kind of have to. Yeah, that's these guys. Sorry, is your mic on? Yeah. Is your mic on? Yeah, can you hear me? No, why can't I hear I Hold on. All yeah, right. you can't yeah. hear him. Right I'm, I've turned off uh, Michael's access to his stream, Chance. How you doing, fucker? Better than you, loser boy. I don't and know how no, you, you figure that do out. Anything, dude. You ain't do Oh, shit. no? Why is he muted? Because he muted himself, you re Yeah, okay, if you think so. Man, what do hey, you want, your, you do? What do you where's want? Your big your ass, where's your big-ass fancy you watch, buddy? Pissed, where's your big-ass fancy watch? Up your ass and around the corner, fuck boy. That's the only answer? You, you yeah, because you're a loser. You're a watch. fucking loser, you turd bag. Ah, come like, on. Let me you tell know you love something, me. dude. You're, you're just let like Let me tell you here. something. Let me tell you something, pussy boy. You ain't as yeah. tough as you think you are, kid. I mean, dude, what oh, yeah? are you going to grow up I thought up you were going to track me down. Man? Bro, Why you're a nobody. You track me down? I'm Cyrax. Who are you, pussy? I have nobody. several fucking remakes. You live in mama's attic. Dude, come on. Actually, this ain't no attic. It's a fucking bedroom. You get it right. It's an attic. It's an no, attic. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. The few things to acknowledge here are that anything William says to Cyrax, even though it's true, asking him, you know, where's your Apple Watch that you were flaunting so heavily? Now that everyone found out it's only about 40 bucks and Cyrax kind of kind of overinflated it being $400, acted like he was the shit for having it. Now it's nowhere to be seen. He's afraid to show that one off. 
And then Cyrax goes on to tell William Hell, this isn't an attic, this isn't an attic, even while he's sitting in his attic making this video. Uh, Cyrax will just lie about anything he can. When he's in, when he's face to face with William, when he's face to face with Marty, which he will be soon, get ready for that one, be face to face with both of these guys, um, he always has to lie about everything. Even if it's something little, something very menial, it doesn't even matter. If it makes Cyrax looks in any way worse than these guys, he has to lie about it to where he looks like he's, uh, he's on top of them. Another thing to bring up is that Michael Hacking guy turned on his camera and was flailing all around to kind of like help, help, help make it seem real, I guess. But that dude's like pretty fucking old to be trolling Cyrax, I gotta be honest here. But I digress. The thing is, Cyrax still thinks Michael's on his side. Cyrax is gonna try to... He, it's just gonna be a big argument between him and Glory Hole. What else did you think was possibly gonna be? You think Cyrax is gonna be cordial with the guy? Absolutely not. Cyrax is already... He's already at like a 3 on the anger level. But by the end of this video, we'll get well above a 10. Go See, goons like no you don't deserve you're to be mad. in You're mad that I'm better than you and everything. You just yeah. have to sit on your little keyboard. Hey guys, look. Look, this, this is how he is. Oh, hi, I'm William Glory Hole. I'm a little science nerd. I like to fuck with you with computers. That's you, dumb fuck. Like, seriously, bro. You really think you're doing shit? You ain't doing nothing, homeboy. You're mad at the fact that I'm doing better than you with everything, bro. I sold out Let's my see your merch. Bank bro, I'm Let's see your bank account. I sold out merch today. All right, a show, whole ass show, store. Show what did receipts. you do? Nothing. Show the receipts. Show the How receipts. about I don't? You shut the fuck up, bro. And then, then you haven't done nothing. anything. If you can't prove Actually, anything have, you say, bro. you See, haven't done it. that's your problem, you little pissant. You really think See, when I say I've done something, late. I show the receipts. What do you I want me? I've done what, it. what the fuck what, is your little pissant ass want, bro? I already you shut down shit. Marty. I already shut You're down Marty easily, bro. You're fake $400 watch. I can even shut you down, too, boy. And then 10 minutes into Marty's stream, they got you back down to a $39 watch. Yeah, I bored him until he fell asleep, you. God damn it's like your seven hundred dollar speakers there on your table. You're fucking so stupid. You think you anyone know, believes dude, all of your lies? Look in the mirror, you fucking biggest fucking liar, and you lie about and shit too. Look in the that, mirror. That's how you are. You want pathetic? Why don't you look in the mirror? I'm not the one sitting on the internet all day running his mouth like a bitch going after people. That's you, dumb fuck. That's your really, ass, bro. I just I've watched like three videos of yours where you're, so you're talking what? about putting bullets in Marty's fuck? head and Here's anybody thing, shows up, bro. I'm gonna put bullet in their head. I'm above you, boy. I'm dude, you're not above. I'm your you're daddy. You're four you're foot eleven bitch. and you're not above Here's anybody. The thing, Willy Wonka, you're my bitch. I ain't Willy your Wonka, bitch. that's great. So, there's a few things I want to talk about regarding that little clip there, but the first thing I want to do before I, I get into that is, I want to bring up the fact that there are three terms that Cyrax is going to be going to a lot in this uh, in this video you see here, and just know whenever he does it, just know it's an absolute lie. Um, number one is, why should I tell you that? Or like, you know, anytime, anytime anyone asks him for proof, if he just says something like, that's for me to know and you not to know, that's immediately, that's his first time you can tell he's lying. Number two, and he does this a lot later on, is anytime they ask him how his, his, his music is going or how him getting his band Twitch back is going, he responds with a very high pitched, actually pretty good, pretty good. And, uh, and number three is actually just a bit of that. It's basically any time he says actually. Every time they say Cyrax like you're fucking talking to a 14 year old girl. Actually, I was trolled. Just, just those little like things that Cyrax says, you can always you can always point out because it's very easy to see. Uh, when he says those things, just assume he's lying. I'm pretty sure if you've seen a Cyrax video before, you would know that already. But in this little clip we watched here, it's just, again, encapsulating the fact that he has to be better than these guys at everything. He immediately jumps to, this is why I'm so above you. This is why I'm so much better at life than you. He he really is trying to push this fact that, you know, he sold out this merch shop. He has so much money, and he won't show any receipts of that. But, you know, in his mind, why should I? These guys are fucking with me. I'm saying all this shit about them that's unfounded, but I can... <laughs> How dare they question my unfounded bullshit? He's doing what he does all the time, and that's just throwing insults out at anybody accusing him of anything, no matter how true it is, which 99% of the time the things people say about him are the truth, but Cyrax is only rebuttal, and the only one he knows is taking no accountability and calling them whatever whatever insult comes to his mind at the time. We've talked about that for, for months now. Cyrax's whole, his whole thought process, his whole, his whole idea of arguing or having a conversation, doesn't matter what form of, of communication it is. 
His end game is to think of whatever swears he can think of and throw them out as rapidly as possible, because that is how you win. Hey, Willy Wonka, why don't you go back to kitty diddling those little kids that you like to diddle all the time, bro? You fucking pedo. Like it's, it, I've said it a million times, but it's true. He he'll never stop doing that same bullshit of taking what people say to him, the truth that is, the fact that he talks to kids, and then taking that and then throwing it back at people and acting like man, like you're you're terrible, you pedo, and all this stuff you did, and oh, this other guy's coming at me from a different angle. Hey, you're a pedo too, you little you little goblin looking bastard. I bet you live in the attic and live and hide behind mommy and daddy. Literally, no matter what he says almost every insult like keep tabs on it the rest of the video i swear to god almost every insult except for like fat all relates back to cyrax it's the only way he knows how to go at these people i said just a minute ago that all he has in his head are swear words the other things in his head are all the things that people have said to him over the years that he now keeps in his head as ammunition to use on further adversaries. No matter how much it makes sense or not, he has it there and he's gonna use it when he feels back into a corner. And right now, that's exactly how he feels. I mean, you're pretty on, focused bro. on you kids. Still, aren't you? You I wonder somebody. why that is. Here's you think, the thing, you Willie. Think you're focused Wonka. on kids because Here's you're into the thing, them. Here's the thing, Willie Wonka. You support Tony, who's a known pedo. Therefore, you're a pedophile by association. You dumb fuck. For real, bro. Get the fuck off of his stream, dog. <laughs> Let us do our shit. We go our way. You go yours. You don't. Nah. Fuck. You're not gonna win. You're never no, this gonna is win. my stream me, now. I'm See, I've you, taken bro. this over. You can this never win against me, Willie. You can never beat me, bro. I am unbeatable. Do you not realize that? You cannot fuck with somebody that's unfuckwithable, bro. You can't really? bullshit a bullshit. Is that why you, you slept on the floor for a week because you were scared? You're a, no, dude, you're a fucking blonky ass computer. You slept on the floor computer, you know, because buddy. you were scared of being. Hey, Willy Wonka, why don't you at? shut the fuck up and sh go back to shoving candy canes up your ass all goddamn day like your life, bro? You're a fucking. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Bro. You're a Is that what you do with the candy canes, canes you got it for Christmas? You're a teenage tweeb sitting behind a fucking computer like a little bitch. Bro. There you go again. Focus you on teenagers. Shit. We all know you ain't about nothing, bro. You ain't about that fucking thug life. You're about, I'm about making real your real life miserable. Troll, That's what I'm bro. about. You're a pussy ass troll. That's all you are. You're a nobody, bro. You're a fucking let's, nobody, let's bro. Fake I'm money. fucking let's Cyrax, see your fake bank account. Let's computer. see all your merchandise Who's you sold out. You? Nobody, bro. You're What's a the nobody. Harm? You're a nobody. You're a nobody. You're a nobody. I've got several remixes on my hit song, Street Racing Sense. What have you got? Nothing, bro. And that's where Cyrax messed up. Taking credit for Wance Chokins' hit song, Street Racing Scene, it's not a good look for Cyrax. He's always stealing these people's music. But as you can see there, he's just trying to undersell anything William says. He's trying to, you're a nobody, you're a nobody. You're trying to, trying to talk all hard. It's just what Cyrax always does. He, he doesn't realize he himself is a nobody, but he thinks he's like the biggest thing since sliced bread. But he never realizes that the only reason he's so relevant is because of these trolls who constantly mess with him. If they weren't there, then he wouldn't be as known as he is. That I sounds like the song Wance Jokers wrote. I do numbers, you fake numbers. That's not your you're, song. Oh, dude, you're a little twat waffle, bro. Why don't you go back and suck on Jamie's dick, bro? Better yet, better yet, go back and suck <laughs> Marty's dick like you like. Because we all know that you're his personal glory hole, you douchebag. I mean, come on, bro. I'm, I'm the world's glory the hole. I belong up? to the world. No, I don't. No, well, the I fuck do. I, I said, don't, bro. I, I myself, said I do. Piss little pig. Take the dick out of your ear. Hey, why? Hey, why don't you take that dick? Hey, hey, out hey, why don't you? Hey, why don't you? Hey, hey, why don't you? Hey, hey, why don't you? Why don't you? Hey, hey, why don't you take Marty's cock out of your mouth? Is that all you think about is sucking dicks? You're a cock sucker, bro. You suck Marty's cock for fun every day, bro. Did your uncle Uncle Billy teach you how to suck dick? Take his dick out of your mouth so we can understand you. Take his cock out of your mouth so we can understand you, you fucking dick sucker. Either Rupal taught you how to You're suck his nobody, dick or it was uh, your, Hey, your William, uncle. why don't you do Which the world a favor and go fuck yourself, bro? For real. Your grandpa you might have made you suck his dick too once or twice. You're a druggie like Marty, bro. You're a fucking druggie nobody sitting on the fucking internet playing wannabe Billy Badass. Yeah, but we all oh, have we money. All know That's you the ain't difference about between shit, me and bro. you. You ain't about I have money, life you like don't. Me, homeboy. You I don't have to make up a $400 watch that my mommy bought me. 
You're a fucking we'll wannabe, it. homeboy. Something that Cyrax has always said, but he's saying a lot more now to use as a point of like, you know, you guys are so much worse than me, is saying how much of druggies Marty is and William is. I don't even know what he thinks William does, but he always talks about Marty being on like Ambien and shit. And he thinks this is like such a, such a, such a jab at them, such a, a brutal roast. Now, of course, as many of you know, I may be biased on that front, but who would you rather call a friend? Someone who's a druggie or someone who's a pedophile? That's what I thought. And he, But Cyrax here, he's just screaming over William. He can't stop. You can see the little guy. Anytime he's he's face-to-face -face with Marty, Glory Hole, any of these people, he's about, he's about to be face-to-face -face with all three of his main adversaries here. William, Marty, and Masshole. And it's not going to be a good time for Cyrax because his anger is just going to progressively ramp up and up and up the more these guys join the stream. So just get ready for that one. Trust me, dog. I know a lot of real fucking thugs. I would fuck your ass up in a goddamn heartbeat if you did the shit. Introduce me. Introduce right, me. Right now, bro. You do the shit to them that you're doing to me, they would have zero issue fucking your dumb ass up. Don't Introduce let me, me fucking to him. ask him. Ask him, bro. Introduce me to them. That I know, bro, because they will beat your ass up. Introduce me ball. to them. You, you, you don't even listen. Badass, you just keep, you, you shit, just like bro. diary at the mouth. Think you think you're a badass, You can't dog. even name I'm them. What's their name? I'm your fucking pay grade, kid. What's their name? Easy. Drop a name. Paul Caston, a.k.a. Boogeyman the Clown. One of the He's best. He's a fucking joke. I know, bro. He's a clown. Ask He's not yourself, a thug. Bro. Don't believe me. Ask him yourself then. I'm All right, ask him if he's a thug. No, go to his Facebook and ask him. He's Call a fucking, him up since you're such a, a big lunatic. bad he's a loser, guy, bro. And he's you're also your nobody, friend. Bro. That makes him not See, a thug. Here, here's the thing, Willie Wonka. Here, 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 here's you're the a thing. fucking five-year-old fucking on the internet acting like a tough guy, bro. You're another wannabe Marty. Just like everybody else. You're a fucking wannabe nobody. And here's the thing. Let me clue you in on something, bro. I've been around this shit longer than you've been alive, kid, all right? I've been around YouTube longer than you've been <laughs> on this fucking platform, bro. Let me tell you, bro. Back in my day, when I came up on shit, back this in your shit day. never would have flown, bro. You're a nobody. You're a yeah. little small baby on this platform compared That's to me, That's the beautiful thing of William Glory Hole. Stuff. You don't know and anything he, about him. Oh, I know That's, more about yeah. you than you realize, bro. You don't know, know anything about, about you, me. Glory, I even gave I you my IP address, you, and you still don't know, know anything about me. I know everything about you, Willy Wonka. You know nothing right, about you're me. Not in, dude, you're not even an adult, bro. You're a fucking teenager who's going to school for computer science, and you sit up here on the internet and fuck with people just because you think that you're the next Marty. You're just like everybody else, bro. You're nah, riding my I am not the next Marty. Marty is, the Marty is Marty, and I am Stop William. Riding my dick, That's, there's a difference riding. here. Stop riding my dick, you nobody. See, here's the Dude, thing, bro. Let me tell there's you nobody on earth that wants that. to ride that Excuse me? Yeah, I've got fucking thousands of remixes on my song, Street Racing Scene, and I'm a nobody. Okay, I own it. Bro. Okay, Man, still okay. control owns it. All right, it's nobody. Partnership. Okay, no, let, 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 all right, go ahead and prove how big you are. Why don't you face Michael yourself? Why don't you face Michael yourself? Because I guarantee you he'd shut your ass down real quick. Over the course of that two minute clip, Cyrax tried to get two different people to fight this battle for him. He went on for about a minute about, ask all these thugs I know, thugs like Boogeyman the Clown. I don't even know who that is, but he's probably just some friggin' juggalo Cyrax knows on Facebook who he thinks is the, the biggest badass in the world. The guy probably has a car and Cyrax is like, whoa, <laughs> that's so cool, he has a car. Um, and then he tries to get Michael, the dude who's in the chat, hasn't said a word, um, and he tries to get him to fight his battle for him. He can't, he can't do nothing by himself. No matter what he says, he always has to try to get someone else to take his battles for him. Usually Sally, when it's something that involves more real-world shit, like Marty showing up to his house. But speaking of Marty, just as that clip ended, you saw another name pop up in the uh, in the stream there, and that was Marty himself. Now, you'll notice when Cyrax notices that two of his his trolls that he fears so much join, look how Chance reacts to it. It's it's pretty obvious. Hey, what's up, Tony? Hey, hey, Marty, welcome. Marty welcome to my party. Hey, clown boy. Fuck you. And fuck you, Willie the bitch. And Marty, this. fuck you, you fat. You're gonna run away because you're hey, a Oh, you're gonna hey, run? Hey, Santa boy, why don't you shut the fuck up and go back to sucking Marty's cock, you dick? <laughs> oh. What a pussy. 
So as soon as Marty joins, Cyrax hightails it out of there. You can hear William call him a pussy, which is absolutely true about this. You know, he just, as soon as two people join in there, you know, Cyrax has his boy Michael right there. Why couldn't they go two on two? It was too intimidating for Cyrax. He can't handle these people because as much as he talks about how they don't mean anything to him and he's always laughing at them, he is genuinely terrified of Marty. He's terrified of William. And seeing two of them at there at once, that was way too much for chance so after that they hung around the stream for a while did uh michael william and marty and about 20 minutes later cyrax decided all right i think the coast is clear it's time to hop in again when he hops back in he acts like he acts like they're not even there for a second marty and william uh he just goes back to thinking all right it's just gonna be me talking with michael again and within seconds he's right back to freaking out like he usually is here he is uh look who it is ah yo michael what up dude What's up, man? Find your watch yet? Ah, Marty, let me tell you something, bro. Yeah. You and William Glory Hole, you're a bunch of fucking nobodies, dude. Uh, like, you, you guys act like you're so tough. Like, can we buy a shirt, Alex? Do what? Can you, can you plug your, your shirt shop so people can buy it? Oh, I'll be doing that later on as soon as I re-up, for sure. Right now, what I'm out of stock. Right now, I'm out of stock, so I kind of have to re-up, dude. What do you mean by re-up? Like, Meaning I have to make more fucking merch, dude. Jeez. What what so what part of money you know you know, you know, for for a for a druggie that's <laughs> on Adderall, bro. Like, yeah. you know, like for, for somebody that's so what really do you mean? Smart. You order the shirts you, you know what's funny about you, Nick? You, you know what's funny about you, dude? The fact that you you claim to be so smart but yet you're hooked on Adderall and Ambium all the fucking time, bro. Yeah, you're fucking you, you need you need to get help. Seriously, bro, you need to get fucking so, help, dog. And as for You're you, his well, help. And as, and as yeah. for you, Willy Wonka, why don't you just shut the fuck up and go back to stuck in Marty's pocket and fucking see your and words? Bro, you're, 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 you you think you're cute, don't you, bro? But what you so don't you 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 with something to understand, how are you showing your shirt? It's sad, Marty, that you're going to have fucking dumbass Willy Wonka fight your fucking battle. Hey, why'd you leave I mean, that just shows how much of a pussy you are, bro. Why'd you leave you're going to have your friends fight your battles for you, bro. I don't need to have, unlike you, Nick, I don't need to have my friends fight my battles for me. Send your grandma out to defend you, but that's okay. Yeah, here's the thing, bro. <laughs> they, did, they did that shit on their own accord, yeah. you fucking You knew I was man. coming, and you hid in your sure. head. Why would you come outside? I'm Marty. I need to be the Marty. I'm a re That's you, dumb fuck. Wow, are you handicap shaming now? Oh, and Wayne Gorehole. Oh, this is Wayne Gorehole. Hi, I'm Wayne Gorehole. I'm a wannabe hacker. I'm a wannabe hacker. <laughs> That's you, dumb fuck. So sit your fucking bitch ass down for a bitch slap your ass. You can see how easy it is to trigger this little guy. All Marty has to do is bring up the fact that he hid behind his grandma when Marty showed up, and he knows no other way to reply than to mimic a handicapped person and make fun of Marty that way. You know, you really got him, Cyrax. Marty's definitely the one that looks bad when you do that. He, um, he just can't handle it. Marty's asking him about the store, like, can you tell us about the store a little bit? And he just keeps going, you see, that's the thing about you two, you, you dick suckers. Like, he can't, he can't physically comprehend these questions. He can comprehend when people tell him, wow, Cyrax, your art and music is so good. You're the best. And he'll be like, wow, man, thank you so much. I can't, I, I like, you guys are so awesome. And then, then he'll go and do all the crazy shit he does. And he's like, well, why aren't people looking at the good things? Things I say to people like when I thank them for the fake compliments they give me he's he's the worst type of person because when he gets in these arguments his true colors really come out and you can see just how horrible he is the things he's willing to say to somebody just for like a minor infraction to him you know oh you're calling me out for things that I really actually did well let me be racist or make fun of handicapped people just to spite you back <laughs> and then when it's all said and done he'll sit there and go People say, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. It's like no one's asking if you're okay, Cyrax. They all just want you to stop being a piece of shit. And the final quick thing I want to bring up is we just saw him try to use Michael and Boogeyman the Clown as shields. And his first thing he says is, oh, well, you're just trying to put people in front of you to fight your battles for you. Like he, he really doesn't understand that he does these things and then calls people out on the same shit about like 30 seconds later. And it doesn't make any sense for him to do so. But in his mind, that's a that's a solid burn right there. Why do you sell your shirt, Cyrax? 
That's none of your goddamn business. That's for me to know, for you to never find out, you dumb yeah, fuck. I don't think there are any Jesus shirts. Christ. I don't think there are any shirts. Here, here's the thing, dude. Can you show us a shirt? No a good magician never reveals his yeah, Can you show us one shirt? Here's the thing, bro. A good magician never hey, can reveals you show his shirt? Secrets. Sorry, I don't give away my He can't even show like us that. his Apple Watch. But here, here's the yeah. thing, bro. I, I don't let my opponent see what I do. Why, why would you advertise your shit You might have shown up to us. See, here's the thing, Nick. To me, playing with you and William Glory Dick is like a game to me. This, oh. this is all a game to me. It really is. Because oh. you guys seem to think that you're so tough, but really, you ain't shit. And, dude, so, this dude right here can tell you for a fact that you guys ain't shit. I mean, you guys so, claim to have jobs, but yet, but, but, like yeah, but yet, you don't fucking do you that shit all fucking day long, except sit on the internet and wait for me, bro. That's all you guys do. You sit on the internet and wait for me to go live like a bunch of pussies. Like you claim to have real jobs. No, the fuck you don't. Nick, let's be honest, man. You got thrown out of every fucking dealership you've gone to, bro. That's why you don't have a Honda Accord, which I know for a fact you don't. You're fucking (laughs) in these fucking totals and in the fucking shop because of your work driving. That's true. And and, and, yet you claim claim I can't drive again. You're the one that gets thrown out of every fucking dealership like hey, a where's your car, so Rex? It don't matter. Oh my god, dude. His personality is the fucking worst. He'll sit there and rag on Marty about all this stuff involving cars. Oh, you can't even drive well. You totaled your car. You don't have this specific car. It's probably just more info fed to him by trolls trying to fuck with him. But he'll say all this while never, never having driven a real car a day in his life. And when Marty brings that up to him, it doesn't even matter. Like, that's that's why it's so pointless to go back and forth with Cyrax. Because even if, even if you point out, like, Cyrax, you're literally doing exactly what you just said, it doesn't matter. Because that's in the past. Like, that's, we're past that now. But now it's time to look more at the faults of your past. You know, that's, it, it's time for Cyrax to grill you on the things you have done. He he can't he can't be honest about anything with anybody. When they bring up the t-shirt shop, he'll just he'll beat around the bush so much and talk about how much better he is than them. Marty asks him about like six times, Cyrax, can you show us one design for your shirts? Oh, I don't I don't let anyone of you guys see it. Just because he's like a little kid. It's like them saying, like, hey, like, Mom, Dad, guess what? I sold like a hundred things at school today. Oh, really? Can you show us the paper? Like, like let's see the money and all. Oh, well, I, I, I can't show you that that it's mine it's mine you know like it's 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 just a little kid lying and he's he's he really thinks he's just so much above these people he keeps bringing up the fact that he does numbers he sells more than them he's above their pay grade when cyrax genuinely hasn't made more than a hundred dollars this year so for him to sit here and act all high and mighty and better than everyone else when he can't even drive a car and doesn't have a fucking job, doesn't have a dollar to his name, like if he wanted to go to McDonald's right now, he couldn't afford a damn thing. It's 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 so funny to hear him talk himself up like he's this this big time motherfucker when he could he's literally not capable of doing shit. Okay. It don't well, matter. You say yeah. I suck at driving. Look at you, bro. You get thrown out of every fucking goddamn dealership you go into because you wreck every fucking goddamn time, car. Bro. And as for you, William Glory Hole, you just need to shut the fuck up and grow the fuck up, bro. Instead of hiding like a bitch, why don't you cam the fuck up, bro? I mean, I don't you know, really don't see what camming up is going to do. He still won't do anything. Because it shows it that doesn't dude, change you ain't even the got facts. the balls to show your face like a man. You a man so don't hide so... behind the screen like a bitch like you. You won't even That's show your watch. You, do, you hide like a bitch. You won't even bro. show your watch. Hey, 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 Marty, why don't you shut the fuck up, you man? Your watch. The reason that Cyrax wants them both to cam up so bad is because he's desperately he's he's desperately trying to do to them what he always complains about people doing to him. He's he wants to make fun of them for their appearances. Like when he's talking to William Glory Hole there, he just can't stop about cam up, show your fucking face and all this. And you know, if William got on the mic and was the handsomest man that ever lived, Cyrax would still be like, oh, wow, you're so ugly and shit. Like, you know he'd do exactly what he complains about people doing to him and wouldn't once see the issue in doing that. So it's that that's all he wants. He wants to find any reason to come at anybody, and by showing their face on cam, no matter what they look like, he would go at them for their appearance. I just find it funny and humorous that you guys really think you're doing something special 
You're not doing you're anything worse than shirts. anyone else, bro. You're a bunch of losers. You know, if, if you bro. ordered I'm shirts, a winner, you, you would have shown nobody. You would have hey, shown us shirts if you ordered hey, yo, the physical. Michael. Guaranteed. Hey, yo, yep. Michael. Why, yep. why, do you, why, why do you fill these guys in just on... Why, why do you school these guys on real fucking business? And what the fuck we're about? Why do you gotta have Michael fight your battles, you pussy? Hey, he ain't fighting my battles. That's on him. He wants to fucking say what's up, you know? You guys wanna go two on two? We'll go two on two, motherfucker. Okay. Let's, let's fucking go, bro. I mean, y'all okay, sit there shirt? and say, like, where's your oh, walk? oh, you're this, you're that. But here's the thing, bro. I've got hundreds and thousands of remixes on my song Street Racing Scene. You guys ain't got jack fucking I shit, bro. Thousands of remixes. I'm a known fucking, dude, I'm a household name, motherfucker. Wow. You guys are you just are trying for the to wrong coattail reasons. ride me. You're just trying to coattail ride me, which, for all of us that don't know, I will be re dropping Street Racing Scene coming very fucking soon. Thank you very much. He is desperate for someone to come save him from this. That's why he keeps saying, and hey, Michael, come on, tell him hell, you know, we're really about this and all. Like, even this guy, Michael, at the beginning of this recording was asking Cyrax, like, so you really did this? Like, where's the shop at and all this stuff? And Cyrax had no, no answers for that. And that's really all Marty and, and William are doing, are asking him about this. Like, can we see it? Like, and, and Marty brings up a great point that if Cyrax, if he had gotten these shirts that he's claiming he got and then sold them, you know they would have been all over his Facebook page and all over his YouTube saying, look what I got, come on, please buy these, because he's so desperate to get some money off of this. And then instead of answering those questions, he just goes into a rant about how he's going to redrop street racing scene, you know, kind of re rework it, remix it, and then re-release it so he can get his song back. I'll bet, I'll bet every cent I have that Wance Chilkins gets a hold of that song and copyrights it for himself, like it should be. <laughs> if if Wayne Stilkin gets his hand on that, then the world will be at peace. Hey, what'd you oh, and then Wayne, Wayne Goriel, don't think that I'm not after your ass, because I got your number, bitch. I know that you're Wayne Stilkin, and I know that you're the motherfucker that took my songs, which, <laughs> by the way, I took my songs back. Thank you very much. So, you how's, how's that working out for you? Actually, really good. It's working out great. I got my songs back. What's your sales I'm up really now? I'm cutting them, and I'm, I'm going to see... Here's the thing, bro. I'm going to be told pulling a Taylor Swift on you motherfucking hoe back. See, <laughs> I'm taking my songs back, recutting them, remastering them, and re-releasing them under my distributor where I will then get paid, which means your shit's going to get shut down because I do have the proof that I own every fucking song. I do have the video evidence, so fuck you and have a nice day, you dumb fucks. Uh, you really think, you really think you I'm that, that fucking stupid? Well, Come on. You need to buy your shirts. Why don't you market them right now? So, Like so I can... said, dude, once I re-up the merch, bro, it's game fucking on, homeboy. Once no re I re-up it, that's when I... Obviously, you guys have never ran a fucking so, business who's your distributor? before in your life. Clearly, who's you your guys have never... How am I supposed... Who's your why, why, would it, why would it make sense for me to promote something that I don't have in stock right now? That wouldn't make sense. Well, so when you I do mean, I need to create shirts, the merch team. See, you sure. guys have never ran a shop in your life, which is sad. Y'all have obviously never taken any business classes ever. At <laughs> all. Period, bro. Like, Are you talking about your life skills courses? What was that called? Oh, no, 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 no. Here's the thing, bro. I actually took real fucking business classes. Yeah. While you two dimwits. Yeah. You see, while, while yeah. I was away and you two dimwits were sitting yeah. there fucking trying to figure yeah. out what the fuck I was doing. I was out <laughs> taking business classes with a good friend of mine. So... Here's what y'all don't seem to get, bro. In, or, in order to be successful, bro, you know, in order for people to buy certain yeah. merch, you have to have that merchandise. It wouldn't make any sense for me to not have merch and promote the merch when it's not there. You but can't you promote something that ain't there. You have Sorry, to promote something promote that is there, bro. When did you so promote for it? For me, then? my shit's hey, already when, sold when, out. When have you been promoting it? It's pretty sad that it's, you guys really are pathetic. He physically can't stop himself from lying, and he also physically can't stop himself from talking. He'll talk and talk and talk while Marty's just trying to ask him simple questions like, what's the distributor for your shirts? Why didn't you promote it in the beginning? And all he'll just go on is about, see, that's what you two don't get. It's obvious that you've never, he's like, it's pretty sad that you've never ran a shop in your life like Cyrax. Many people have never ran a shop in their lives. It's a pretty specific thing. But he's acting like, you know, he knows so 
so much about this. And another lie that he, he blatantly says is that he took business classes in the time he spent away. Number one, he never spent any time away. So I'm assuming he's talking about like a few days where he wasn't online. He went and took business classes which, with a good friend, which is bullshit. If you know anything about Cyrax, he, he stayed into high school till he was 23. He never went to college. And the only type of business class he takes are these online courses. I think like the Skillshare type shit. And he acts like now he's some some business just as a wise businessman who's going to take the world by storm, but he can't provide evidence for any of the bullshit he's doing. He can't show a single dollar to the stuff he's claiming that he sold. He'll he'll just keep going in circles here, lying about everything, acting like it's all it's all happening, but these guys aren't seeing it. Whereas, you know, if if you if you asked any people in the world, any people in the world, did you buy a Cyrax shirt? Nobody would be able to show you it because he never sold a single one. But in his mind, it's 250 people out there that are going to be real quiet about it and just be loving their Cyrax shirt from the comfort of their own home that none of these trolls will ever find out about. You really yeah. are. You okay. really fucking are, man. Like, well, you haven't, you haven't been promoting you guys, merch at all, though. You guys, you guys are so mad that I'm doing well, but oh, so. that you guys can't oh. handle the fact that I'm doing well. And, and oh, what so. was it that you said last time, William Glory Hall? What was it that you're supposedly not gonna stop until you shut me all the way down? How how's that working out for you? Because clearly I'm still here. Yeah, well he just fucking hijacked my stream, so I'm now I'm involved in the whole thing. It's working out great. It's, you know what I mean? It seems like he's taking over pretty good. Like William, like William, what do you what do you what do you what do you like what do you plan to gain from all this, bro? You're not gaining nothing. World domination. <laughs> Yo, Michael, you hear this guy? <laughs> world domination, world domination, I, my ass, bro. I honest, I honest. In my world, you don't exist. When I was watching this, Miss Smokey overheard it and started cracking up. She was like, what did he just say? Like, you know, in my world, Cyrax, you don't exist. That's the beautiful thing about William Glory Hole as a troll. He genuinely, he genuinely hates Cyrax. Now, obviously, Mass Hole Marty, they all do too. But William's just seems more vitriolic than anyone's. And uh, no matter what Cyrax says to him, he's just like, all right, Cyrax, got it, got it, got it. I'm still never going to stop fucking with you. Cyrax is so, but he's so clung, he's so clung on to this idea that, oh my god, these people are so weak, they can't touch me, they can't do anything. Even his own friend Michael's saying, yeah, well, it seems like they're doing a lot, they just hacked into my shit. Cyrax, just with a smile on his face, doesn't even acknowledge it. Just is like, yeah, you know what, William, why are you such this? Just keeps going on, not realizing that, hey, Cyrax, these people who you think are so weak, they can't do anything, they just hacked into the only support you have, that guy's shit, and you're still going on here trying to talk yourself up acting like you're the badass in this situation is there really any badass in this situation not really but the fact of the matter is there's one guy acting like the biggest badass and he hasn't he hasn't shown one ounce of proof to back any of that up okay then if i don't exist in your world then why are you up here fucking with people like me we're not in your Pull world, around. you fucking delusional dumbass. When you're, we're in when reality. When you're gone, Hello? I win. Hello? <laughs> Max, what do you think I made we're, off we're of We're in yesterday. reality, William. What do you we're think not I made in, off we're, of we're, not, we're not in delusion Curious. land where you and Marty live. We're not in delusion land. We're in reality, dumb fuck. Get back down to Earth. Hello? Wayne and Gloriel. Earth calling Wayne and Gloriel. Come back down to Earth, dumb fuck. We're in reality, dude. Get over it. You can't get rid of me. I'm irrefutable, dumb fuck. You cannot get rid of me no matter what you fucking try to do, bro. You shut down my YouTube, I come back. You shut down my Twitch, I make a new one. You, you see how you're never going to get rid of me? That's you're that not going to, you? bro. How's Twitch going? Actually, pretty good because I'm planning on making a new one tonight. And guess what? Even if you shut that down, guess what? I'll just make a new one and keep on fucking going. You're never going to stop me, dude. See, yeah, the, your, your thing is this, man. You hate, you hate me that much. You have, see, this is how I know I'm living in your head rent free. You sit there and you okay. think about how you can fuck with me all goddamn day. But really, you know what I'm doing all day? I'm fucking working on shit all day, bro. All day, working on music, working on merchandise. Hell, just this morning, Michael, was I not sitting down working on music with you while we were on call discussing business? How's, yeah. how's that going? Yeah, actually really well 
So Actually, quite well. You haven't been promoting your merch at all. How are you selling it? People find it, bro. People have ways to find it, man. And that's so, like, how do people find my channel? I don't know how they find it, but they do. Ah, uh, I see. Cyrax is operating off of the, if you build it, they will come mentality. He's saying that, you know, because people find his YouTube without him going public and saying anything, it makes a lot of sense that they would just randomly find his merch shop because obviously his fans are that rabid that they're just constantly looking up the word Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax all day long. And when something new pops up, they're like, oh shit, there it is. When no, Cyrax, the reason people find out about your YouTube is because you run to your Discord, tell people it, and all the people there are trolls and word gets out. And with his t-shirt shop, he's acting like it's the same thing. Like, Oh man, like I put it online and it's immediately 250 things were sold. You know, do you know how much money he would have? He'd probably make like over maybe a thousand dollars. I don't know. I don't I don't run any shops. Um, but he he would make a good little bit of money there and he'd be fucking he'd be making it rain on stream if that was the case. He just, he, but he can't tell the truth about it. It just goes back to the same thing. He's, he's lying about his Twitch too thing. Oh yeah, it's going really well. Apparently him getting banned constantly and always making new accounts is just really, it, that's going well, you know, that's going good. That's how you know your career is going in the right direction when you just keep getting kicked off and have to make new accounts. He doesn't understand the thing about ban evading. He thinks that, you know, ban evading, that doesn't mean anything to him because the reason he was banned is bullshit to him. So therefore he can be there as much as he wants <laughs> nonetheless he uh he's gonna learn this the hard way when he constantly gets banned every time he gets anywhere i'm starting to think that people are probably just gonna let him get to that like thousand follower range you know i don't know how many he had last time but get him monetized get him real close to getting that paycheck and bang and one fell swoop just send a million reports and get him kicked offline so he'll freak the fuck out again it's how people always do cyrax like that but he always thinks it's going to end a different way he thinks if he stays there for a few weeks it's like all right cool cool i did it i i finally escaped these trolls not realizing they're just waiting for the right moment to strike and get his ass kicked off of there yet again Nobody is. That's not nice. I can't do people well, find okay, nice shit. Okay, nice marketing business, man. Nice marketing. Just don't talk about it hey, at that, all. And that's how I know that I'm above yours and William Glory bitches pay grade. I ain't even got to promote this shit for people to buy it out, bro. I Did ain't you even just use the word pay grade? I ain't even got to promote this shit, bro. And that's how I know when my next two albums for 2023 drop, guess what? I guarantee you those are going to make fucking bank. Especially the album that my song, Street Racing Scene, which I, by the way, retut and remastered and am re-releasing on that album. I guarantee you that's going to do fucking numbers in a week, bro. Guarantee. See, you what kind of numbers? Did, see, here, here's what YouTube did with Don't What kind of numbers? Yet, bro. Here, here's well, what you don't see to get, Willy Wonka. What kind of numbers? In the thousands and in the millions, bro. Do you not realize, yeah, William? You see how delusional he is in the thousands and the millions? The only way Cyrax's songs ever reach like a thousand plays is by the trolls reposting them. You know, earlier in this call, Cyrax brought up the fact that he's a household name, which if he really thinks he's a household name, that's someone that, you know, you can just walk down the street and go, wow, did you hear what happened with Cyrax? People are going to go, no, what? He's always doing something interesting. Like, no, that's not. You're going to say, did you hear something that happened with Cyrax? And they're going to go, no. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Then maybe you'll walk like somewhere like, I don't know, really popular. And someone will go, oh, that the character from Mortal Kombat? No, what happened? Um, but he thinks he's like, you know, like Kanye. You can say, oh, you know what happened with Kanye? And people will be like, oh, yeah, I know. He, he puts himself on that level. He thinks his music is like the best shit ever and that so many people listen and rock out to it, whereas nobody's ever listened to his music unironically to not just laugh at. And he thinks, though, that by him getting thousands and millions, which he never gets anyway, he's gonna he, he's proven something to these trolls. But he doesn't get that you're not proving anything, Cyrax, just by saying that you're gonna get a thousand and a million without doing anything, which you never do. So we're already a good bit into this video, and this goes on a while longer, and if you want to see the full cut of this, I'll link it down in the description, it's on William Glory Hole's channel. As I always say, go throw him a sub, the guy's one of the goats, but they, they go on with this for like another half hour, and then Marty decides to leave, and a little while later, Cyrax joins again, and that, my friends, 
that's where the rage comes out, because Cyrax joins the call all cool, calm, and collected, and within 30 seconds, he's screaming into the camera, and you can tell that Rage Rax is about to come out. So now, now, let's jump to that situation, because as I brought up earlier, another one of Cyrax's old foes is about to join, and he's not going to be having that one. Here, here he is again. I know you come back. William, Michael, we need to fucking talk, man. Seriously, dude. You two dumb fucks need to fucking understand that I'm not the fucking bad guy you two assholes are trying to fucking make me out to be, all right? You want the real mm. fucking pedophile? Look at fucking Kate, bro. Here's the, here's what you're, you're gonna try we're trying, we're me. trying to get, we're trying to get so you can have a normal conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. why would I want to talk to a fucking pedophile like her, bro? Sh shut the fuck up. Stop. I, I've said this before. You should never let Cyrax get on your nerves, even if you're, especially if you're just watching him. But it's like when he says stuff like that, it's like the deflections can go so far. But being calling someone a pedophile is one of the most serious things you can do because people friggin' hate pedos. It's one of the most disgusting things you can do. And for Cyrax to sit here and so flippantly call any one of his adversaries a pedophile because he himself is a pedophile and he wants to deflect it onto them is friggin' disgusting. Him sitting here acting so serious about it, why would I? I want to talk to a pedophile cyrax you are a pedophile you literally talk to a 14 year old girl someone you thought was a 14 year old girl and you want to act like you're the victim you want to act like you are the one who's being so wronged here when it couldn't be further from the truth that any one of these people is a pedo and you yourself and maybe tony or not even maybe you and tony are the two pedos in this whole like situation going on that people talk about and you know you have no right calling anyone else that because of your fault so stop that shit why why the fuck she, she never sent nudes to a to a, a you here's know, here's what someone. you don't get glory Hole. here's what you don't fucking Underage. get dude she is a known pedophile like Tony. She has Prove it. Known this shit what, in what are you past. talking about? You have you have zero proof or evidence of that. Oh, That's real. just oh, your right. fucking rambling. See, see, here's what you don't get, dude. I've asked you three times for proof of this, oh, and you've never dude, proven it once. The proof is in the video. Prove it. Fucking... Prove it. Dude, I don't need to show it. I can tell you. And then you can't you prove shit. You dumb fuck. Read. You're the dumb You're fuck. You're a read. Stop. Shut the fuck Shut up. up. you. Make me, bitch boy. You fucking... Sit your fucking... F I shut up. You're my bitch. I ain't you yours. Boy. You fucking you crackhead and skull scratching bitch. Like, look at him. Just look, look at the way he is. All William is doing is telling him you have no proof that this person is a pedo, whereas there's plenty of proof that you are a pedo. Why do you keep saying this person's a pedo when you can't prove it? And he literally just breaks down into screaming slurs and everything. He he has to get loud. He has to start growling. He he's Then he starts acting like, you know, he, he's just trying to have an attitude about him. Like, man, like you guys are so stupid. How dare you question me about this? Sit your ass down, shit like that. Like, well, dude, you, you have nothing to say about this. Like, well, how, how do you feel like you were in a position for you to be saying all these things? It's, it's, it, he, he always does this, but it's just like, dude. And then, if you never believed that he just says what people say to him, he literally called this guy a, a skull-scratching, crack-headed, like, there, you couldn't possibly describe Cyrax any better than he just described Glory Hole. Shut your goddamn <laughs> mouth, Glory. Let me tell you right now, you fucking... What you don't get is this, bro. Kate is a fucking known pedo, bro. She no, you are. Secret. No, she did. You better be careful with what you're stating, buddy. You're stating oh, things, no, and you don't. No, I don't need to be careful because I know no, what the fuck I... is up. Well, I yeah. know what the fuck is up. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you right now, you don't Gloria, even know I know how far over the line you are right now. I know why you and Kate and everybody are fucking doing this. I know why you're doing it because you want to try to make me the next Chris Chan. And guess what? It's not going to work. Is it? So do you think it's you. Do you think it's normal that you're to a, a 45 year old woman who's married? Do you think it's fucking normal for me to get attacked? Shut the fuck up, Mikey. 
they're telling Cyrax, do you know how out of line this is for you to be saying all these things about someone who simply exposed you for doing all this stuff? She's like a 45-year-old mom, and he's like, oh, do you think it's normal for people to be coming after me? It's, it's, it's so much me, me, me crying bullshit. Like, Cyrax, no one gives a fuck about you after the shit you did, bro. Stop trying to garner sympathy, because nobody, nobody cares that you're in this position. People are happy that you're in this position, constantly getting attacked for the bullshit that you've done. So don't don't expect people to be like, damn, Cyrax, yeah, these people are assholes for going after you. Because they're not. Because you act this fucking way. And he's so fixated on the fact that people are trying to make him the next Chris Chan. Well, Cyrax, it's because you scream and growl like this anytime there's any type of criticism that comes your way about the fucked up shit you've done. You deserve to be called out on that. And those little things, you being called out on that, and like having to answer some questions, they're enough to make you this, this fucking riled up. Up, yeah, you're really on a on a direct path to not even becoming the next Chris Chan, just becoming the, the next big lol cow that everyone wants to mess with. It's a dangerous path that you've been going down, Cyrax, and you're literally at the end of the road right now, so there's no turning back. Shut the fuck up, bro. Do you think it's normal for me to be attacked like I've been all these years by some psycho that wants me, who clearly can't take the fucking in? That ain't normal thinking, bro. That what did what did, what did Wendigo do when you sent her when you sent her when you sent her a dick pic when you sent her a dick pic you sent a dick pic shut your goddamn fat mouth Mikey the bitch you really think it's fucking normal for you to sit up here with the very fucking people that attack me every fucking damn day and laugh ba about it yeah yeah, yeah based on it ain't based on Based on based on the video that you made up and telling me this is who I was, I just took your advice. Hey, why don't you go back to tell your wife to suck your goddamn cock and shut it? Cause you ain't shit, Michael. You think you're some tough guy? You ain't shit, motherfucker. Why if you if you want if you want what's best for me, you say you want what's best for me, then stop associating with these damn losers. They're losers. That want to make me out to be the next Chris Chan. I want the they best. Want that. They she, want chance, that. They want that. Chance, you no, need shut your help. Goddamn mouth. No, you, shut the fuck okay. up. You don't fucking get it, do you, kid? You don't get it, do you, man? Nope. Nope. For the last I guess six I don't. fucking years, I have been tormented by fucking Marty relentlessly over and okay. over. This son of a bitch tried to take my life. And again, he just can't stop bitching about all this me, me, me bullshit. Like, look what they've done to me. Look what they've done to me. Don't look at any of the stuff I've done, but look what they've done to me. Marty once tried to take my life, and to make it even, to, to get you to really believe it, look, I'm going to put these these fingers to my head to make it look like, you know, bang. Like, he he's just... He thinks by saying these things and just being really passionate and yelling about it is going to make people believe that he's in the right. When it's like, Cyrus, you haven't said nothing of value this whole conversation. Why would anyone take anything you say, literally? Did you not see the fucking thing where I almost got killed? Did you not see that? If not, open your eyes, dumb fuck. Open your goddamn up. eyes. That was made up. I almost got killed because of this guy. Lies. Yeah. More lies. You, oh, you seriously? Shut the fuck up, glory. No shit, you bitch. So sit down and shut your ass up, boy. You ain't shit, William. You think Even you're the police said you made that up. You think That's why the case is closed. Turn your it's in the Come on. Hey, come on, boy. Turn your cam on. Cam up, bitch. Cam up, bitch. Cam up, pussy. Oh, and Kate. Fuck you, you fucking pedo, bitch. I Your know turn, what the... cutie. Hey, 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 oh hey, God. guys, look at me. Oh, look at me, guys. <laughs> I'm Kate. I like to stand on red pictures and not... Oh, by the way, Kate... Why, why can't you just calm down and talk? Instantly. You know what? You know what? Hey, Michael. Don't contact me again, you pedo lover. Why are You're you such a pedo lover like you, Michael. Why do you do that? Fuck you. Fuck your wife. What? Fuck all three of you, pedophile. Fuck all of you. Fuck well, all of that, you. You're nobody. You're a pedophile. Go to bed. Whoa, Go to bed. You're you. out of control. Fuck you. Chance, fuck you're in fucking you. timeout right now. No, you're in timeout. Shut the fuck up, Michael. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what my life has been like. Because of you. 
because of these yeah. people. So don't yeah. sit there and tell me to shut the fuck up, old man. Tell us about it, You're the Max. one that needs to shut up. Tell if you're on my side, then shut them down. How is your life? Is your life a good chance? And leave me alone. You have an abundance of 14-year-old girls hey, at your disposal? Is it a good life? Hey, Jake, you got your you little bitch. Oh, yeah. that's you're a good idea. Hey, Jake, you're such a don't make you nice. go in there and make you my bitch. Just like I do every other time, you hoe bag. You're I'm sorry. You're Can you adjust your cam? We can't back. see you. And Michael, if you're on my side, <laughs> then prove it. If you're on he my is on side, your side. Fix your cam, it. you just said. I, fix your I, cam. Can you fix your cam first? Oh, he mm -hmm. laughed because he's a pussy. Like that, my friends, that is what makes a good locale. The way they act when backed into a corner. The way they act when people have God's honest proof of the wild bullshit they've done and they have no way to respond to it. He screams. He yells. He thinks of any slur he can. He whips out his bird to try to get them banned. Says, like, tries to, tries to make a mark of dominance by whipping out his bird on them. Saying, like, you see this? You see what I'm doing right here? Like, that's what a real man does whenever he's troubled. And then, <laughs> then he treats his camera like he treats Sally. Or like Dana White treats his wife and clocks back and just smacks that thing. And it's... <laughs> He's he is livid. He's screaming. He doesn't know what to do because he's faced with the reality of the bullshit that he's done. He's face to face with the people who have proven that he's a friggin' pedo, and he just can't handle that. All he can do is yell back that you're the pedos, put his fingers in his ears, scream la la la, I'm not the one in the wrong, you are, and just thinks it's all gonna go away when he shuts off that camera, but it's not. That's why he hit the camera, because he thought maybe putting a little bit of force into it would have taken everything thing away but it won't because this is what you've done in your life cyrax and you can't just run away from it and expect it to all go away but that's exactly what he's gonna do <laughs> or says he's gonna do because just about an hour later we were greeted with this stream that's uh you can find on william's channel it'll be linked in the description below how do you think cyrax went about this well <clears throat> he did what he always does Looks like he's packing his bags again. So let's let's jump right into this. I want to direct you to the way Chance acts in this video. He's all intent, all focused on starting his stream. He's focused. Once he notices it's on, it's time to stand up. And it's time to act really, really sad. Like, I mean, really, look at the way he acts. The second a few people walk into the chat, he's like, Oh, what am I going to do? You guys wanted the fucking truth, right? Everybody asks me every day if I'm okay. No, they don't. <laughs> Literally, no one cares. Everybody asks me if I'm okay, right? Wrong. I'm not. I'm not okay. I'm not. Looks like a chipmunk. Oh, the hat's going off. Every day for the past two fucking years, I have been attacked relentlessly over and fucking over. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Being called shit I'm not by some bitch that's a fucking known pedophile. It looks like a Dave Chappelle character. Oh god, no, Every it's crying day again. I get called shit that I'm not. Everybody's always asking me, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Honestly, no, I'm not okay. I am far from okay. Far from it. And you wanna know why? Because my life got fucking ruined because some bitch on the internet that wants to see me suffer. <laughs> they're, they're the pedophiles, not me. Because of people like Massel, people like William Gorio, people like Marty, I am not okay. Yeah, okay, cool, Chance, that's fine. You don't have to be okay. No one cares if you're okay or not. All they care about is if you get off the internet and stop talking to kids. I mean, it's clear that you haven't really, like, gotten the, the hint. All Chance does on Facebook is friend request, like, teenagers and shit. Like, he's, he's not, he's never getting, <laughs> he'll never get what he did is wrong. He'll just bitch about being exposed for it and then go about his day so he can act like anybody that talks about him doing it is the real problem. I'm not! Every day, I try to do my best to be okay. Every day, 
I try to do my best to do what I love, to make a living for my family. But yet that all gets ripped away from me. So go ahead, laugh. That's what you want, right? You want to laugh at my expense. Go ahead, laugh. Go ahead. <laughs> go right ahead. Yes, yes, freak out, goblin, yes. Go right ahead and fucking head and laugh at my suffering. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what you want, right? You guys in the comments want to see me suffer, right? Come on. Let's hear it. Come on. Let's go. I think at this moment it sunk back into reality that he wasn't talking to anybody. So he had to sit and ponder for a few seconds to figure out what his next move was, and then he realized he just got back to, he has to get back to freaking out about what he was initially freaking out about. That's what you want, right? That's what you want, right? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And that's why after tonight, that's why after this stream, this is going to be my last stream ever. And there we go. The cycle of Cyrax has once again completed. He has he joined the internet gotten called out for all the bullshit he does, gotten kicked off of the new thing that he was really excited about doing, which was his Twitch. He freaked out. Now he's leaving the internet again, and the cycle will there will then complete once again in the new year. Hopefully, you know, Cyrax has really kept his word. He's been gone from the internet for a few days, and, you know, I, I really think, I really think that I'm going to give the little guy credit because I think he's really going to do it this time. He's gone for good, and he's not coming. How are you doing tonight, Cyrax? I'm laughing my ass over your fucking red ass, dude. All right, fine. Video tomorrow about Cyrax's first freak out of 2023. The cycle repeats itself, I swear to God. It's, it's, it'll never stop. It'll never stop. But in this, in this freak out today, you know, we saw, we saw Cyrax bitch about damn near everything, lie about damn near everything. It's, it's what he always does. In the new year, can we expect anything new of Cyrax? Absolutely not. He'll think that he's going to change. He'll think that he's going to do a lot better. And he never will, because it'll never sink into him. And I'm sure we'll have a lot more things to laugh at this upcoming year, and I can't wait to laugh about it with all y'all. Because you guys are fucking goats. Every one of you who's supported, who's even clicked on the video, left a comment, just said hi. Even if you're watching, thank you. Just thank all y'all. I say it all the time, but really, I, I, I can't ever thank you guys enough for all the, uh, all the support. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Before I do that, we got to do it like we always do, so I can say shouts out to... Vanessa, Cody Hale, Scaly Schisms, Echo Spectre, Feelin's Party Place, Churlish, Pythea, Your Mom, Crabby, Mick Surly, Adrian Lara, Sky, Sky Fitzpatrick, All Right Stingy, Isaiah, Blake Austin, G Man, Gypsy Pauls, Trademark, Cyrax's Stylus, Commander Louie, Justin S, The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Chef Meme Maker, Vaga, Italian Boy Advance, East, Chris Chance Fanta Bottle, Pebra, SK Rooks, Bullet BP, Kaitan, Synthesist, Music Biz Marty's Bong, Oinker, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Dr. Miasma Morbius, Emery King, Try Give Black Tiger, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Based Trucker, Club Doom, Jason Brafford, Jose Garcia, Robot Gorilla Man, Seal Currently, Jay Sorensen, Everborn, Eric Estrada, Akiba's Beat Fan, Gravy, Jurassic Clark, Burger Boy, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, the United States Department of Homeland Security, Danny the Foot, Hurricane Salem, and Isaiah. You guys are all fucking goats, and everyone who made it this far in the video, you know you're a goat as well. 
I know today was a really long one, guys, and I want to say thank you to anyone who made it this far. And you know, it's the first video of the new year, and I hope you guys have a great one. That's all I wish for all of us, man, that we make this community bigger, that y'all have a, a great fucking year, y'all get a lot of money, y'all just, y you guys have a great time. That, that's, that, that to me... That's the most important thing, that you just have a good time and you got a lot to look forward to. I said it in a video last year, but it always rings true to me, that life becomes really fun when you have something to look forward to. Always have something to look forward to. Whether it's just like, you know, you're doing something next weekend, whether it's, you know, you're going on a big, big, big vacation in like a couple of months. Just have something that you can point to and go, I'm going to make it till then. And then after that comes, you find another thing and go, I'm going to make it till then. And then, you know, you just keep on doing that. You do that your whole life. You keep looking forward to big events and big things that make you happy, that make you, you know, that make you, you want like things you really want to do. And, uh, and your life's going to be good. You, you, a lot of people tell me all the time they watch like videos like this and they go like, man, like Cyrax, guys like Cyrax, they, they fucking suck. Like, I'm so happy I'm not them. And, you know, that's definitely a good thing to always uh, be happy about. But if you want to be even an even happier person in your regular life, just make sure you always have something that you're pointing to and going, I can't wait till I get to that point. And that's that. So I know it's kind of pointless to give like motivational speeches after a goddamn Cyrax video, but sometimes videos like this make you think, damn, the world's a pretty bleak place. But I want you all to know that it is not. We can sit here and laugh at these people on the internet all day, but when the day is done and you want to kind of sit back and wonder what am I going to do with myself now, always remember, oh shit, I got this to look forward to. And it's, uh, it's going to perk you right up. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you guys uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a great rest of the year. And until the next one, I'll, uh, I'll see you all then. So take care, guys. See you.